everyone welcome back games world here going and do a little run down and land what i'm watching through my rising star completing a local mini tour support mission on level 64 heading up the road slowly but it's fun let's remember people to like subscribe and leave a comment and this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor this is just me having fun playing some nft play and own games so the whole thing about it is to have fun and you will earn along as you play yes and let's get right into it so i am completing this local mini tour but what I am here today to talk to you about this fine Friday evening is about land in Splinterlands. Basically, if you have purchased a piece of land to check on it, you go to in the inventory that will be on my top right hand side of the screen here where I have the mouse and you click on others. When you go on others, you may see that I have one totem, one totem, and one land plot claim. That's just my little thing, but as I say, it's a game. Anything can happen with a game. But the thing about it is to have fun while playing the games on them. Right, so I have one land plot and one totem to put on the land. Which will give it an added boost. So I come on totem. I work on that phone. So you know, I go along with that. Alright. Um, that's where to find your land in Splinterlands. On the game itself. Right. Already keep completed my dragon quest. Okay. So I completed that. And if you go also. And you check out Hive Engine. Let's see what a price of land costs. But right now I'm looking at a, a track. So they have two tracks. Well, no, that's the country. Yeah. Trade is three, trade is three. Jarvi bought. And Mr. Roger. They have no tracks. You have no tracks, right? And let's go back to tokens. tracks we have plots and also we have regions so we are no re you have any regions let's see regions let's go to regions no regions so i'll just do another run through no regions but we have plots go back on tokens so i'm in hive engine right now all right so you can do this on hive engine or tribal decks Okay, I'm on Hive Engine right now. So let's go on plots. So we have a lot of plots. So a plot is basically two hundred and three dollars right now. Before it was up like probably eight or nine hundred dollars at its peak. Sometime last year, November, somewhere around there. Let's see. At its peak. That's just only around 435. 24 hour chart. Volume. Hourly. Daily. So we have our hourly and daily. Price. Check here. 24 hours. Yeah. That's our hourly and daily. So we see we have some for sale right now. Yeah, but it was basically like eight, nine hundred dollars sometime last year. Right, but now it's at two hundred and three dollars. That's four hundred and forty eight hive. Right? And going a next tool you could probably use to see land is splinter cards. 
so when you go to splinter cards splinter cards have a various set of stuff in it which could help you out very considerably in knowing about a lot of things in splinter lands so where you can go and you click on cards you can see the different cards here you understand what they're about the splinter the edition you go on gameplay right you click on abilities and you can see the many abilities and to our favorite one which we want to look at right now is lands right so the same land expansion in for graphic right it's supposed to be completed sometime i think it's q4 2022 okay so they give you a little rundown here of the land, the land expansion philosophy buy and rent lands resources buildings items so exploration of paratoria paratoria is the first continent of splinterlands with 150,000 land plots right 150 regions 10 tracks 100 land plots okay so the get the land type so when i run through this here on splintercards.com right you will see what the land types it a plain a hill the tundras swamp bog mountain canyon caldera river lakes forest desert jung and um, badlands desert and badlands so land category similar to the foil for monster and summoner cards the category indicates that the main use of this land will be and therefore what resources can be obtained natural majority of the land plots they provide four resources used to build upgrade and maintain buildings grain wood stone or magical more rare than the natural lands they provide resources used to mint items and spell cards i hope i get a wonderful piece of land hoping you don't know right we'll get fertilium life reclaim souls debt unlane seeds earth spark stone fire bottle storm water hill stone dragon occupied more rare lands the, the natural lands inhabit by wild monsters fight monsters to extract essence used to mint items and spells so that is that part of it in the land category we watch the land types and now it will be land rarity land rarity like monsters and summoners drop rate not yet known we don't know the rarity will determine the abundant the natural magic resources are or how many monsters there are to to an occupied plot common no prefix name example hills fertile prefix example fertile plains abundant prefix example ab abundant swamp overflowing prefix of overflowing jungle so that's our basic land rarity as we go along right so level up buildings on each land plot you can construct one building there will be many different types of buildings that can be built of these categories natural resources harvesting natural resources refining natural resources storage not magical resources harvesting magical resources storage monster essence harvesting items and spell manufacturing so you're going to construction and upgrade building course and resource time okay so cost in resources and time increase at higher levels spend dc to speed up the construction process any dc spent in this way will be burnt so you see another way to burn the dc which is pegged at roughly one cent right most buildings will also require some existing monsters some cards to work in them 
monsters and summoners for certain splinter will be better suited to work on specific types of buildings buildings can also be destroyed by their owner and a percentage of the resources used to build them can be recovered special buildings pre-existing on certain land plots and cannot be destroyed or removed in any way these buildings will confer special benefits to their owners and also to the surrounding areas castles keep region each region 100 plot 1000 plot sorry will contain exactly one plot with a castle and nine plots with a keep with a keep one in each track 100 plots except for the track that contains the plot with the castle so mint items and spells the end goal of owning land is to mint the new items and spells so as i'm going along i say i can't tell you all to get land but you see right now it had no tracks it had no regions it had plots so i have a plot i will make full use of my plot hope i get a very nice plot hope so can't say the item and spells will be able to be used in battles right there will be specific buildings that can be built for minting they will require monsters and summoner cards to work on them minting will require both magical resources and essence the resulting items or spells randomly determined by the number of factors and building minting items and spells will take time spending the ac to speed up the minting process the amount of depends on the many factors similar to those described above they will require monsters and summoner cards to work on them totems which i have one common totem each totem will provide one specific type of benefit example speed up death splinter item card minting time increase the rate spark stone harvesting or reduce the maintenance cost of a farm building will have common rare epic legendary rarities so the kids are wrong they do partake in learning about the future about the metaverse and things so they do come around and be entertained by by my progress in the metaverse and nfts and cryptocurrency so it's a fun thing but you have to invest wisely and know your and um, know what to do and do your research so let me i continue a limit a limited amount of totems have already been released during the lottery others will be available in mode yet to be communicated right this page will be updated as new information will be will be released right please splinter lands and get lands here right so this is from splinter cards i have given you a full rundown up to this point in time that's we are in may so we say q4 2022 i believe from the last i think town hall or the one before that they gave up this in terms of the land time schedule right so you could always go across the splinter lands and see i think they had one in the, the in the discord when they had the town hall on discord and also on youtube so you can go across there and take a look and get a practical date on the time of land release right whether well, release but when they're going about putting things in place for that all right so that's it for me on giving a little rundown on land and my position with land holding a piece in splinter lands i always like to get a piece in any games that i'm playing nft games that i'm playing you know as i say it's not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor i just love playing these nft games and see how far they will go in the future but splinter lands features look very bright from what i am seeing it was a 
positive community and they, uh, they are very helpful so just remember to like subscribe and leave a comment and i will see you all again enjoy be safe enjoy your weekend see you all